Can one power station be used to power an RV or tiny house on wheels full time? Charge an electric vehicle? And act as a truly whole house home power backup system? The answer is yes it can. This is not a trick, we promise. Welcome back to another Tiny Stuff product review. Today we're excited to share Anchor Solex's F3800 portable power station. It is the most powerful yet from Anchor. It has a massive output of 6,000 watts and a high capacity of 3,800 watt hours. And it can be expanded to mind blowing heights. And with that said, the F3800 is built for maximum usage flexibility, but at a more affordable price point. Uh, more on that later, but first, what's in the box? The F3800 comes with an AC charging cable, a solar charging cable, and two three-port MC4 solar charging connectors. It's really great that they come with the connectors because that's something that is usually sold separately. Yeah, and it's definitely needed to max out the solar input for the F3800. It also comes with a straightforward and super helpful user guide. For instance, it shares how many amps and volts each input port can handle. Okay, a quick side note on amps, volts, and watts. They are all units of measurement for the consumption and flow of electrical energy. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know two of the three, you can figure out the other one with a really simple equation. The F3800 is chock full of output ports, including three fast charge USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, six 120 volt 20 amp ports, and those are just like regular household plugs that you find inside your house, and two 240 volt ports, which is cutting edge for a power station. Most do not have that. And the 240 volt is to power things like your electric dryer, electric stove, or even an EV car. So it's extremely convenient to be able to plug the tiny house directly into the F3800. Because our tiny house is wired for 30 amps, we had to use a 30 to 50 amp adapter to plug it in to the RV port on the F3800. So with the power station having about 3800 watt hours available when it's fully charged, it could power our tiny house for probably about a day and a half, just depending on what we're using uh, during that day. But if we got an expansion battery, mm -hmm. that would double the watt hours and double the runtime, which is amazing because now we're talking three days. Right, and that's just one battery. Yeah, but expansion battery or no, the way to make this work really well as a full-time tiny house power source is to connect it to a solar power system. And what's amazing is you can put 2,400 watts of solar into the power station all at once. And that is quite a bit more than a lot of the power stations out there. So for our tiny house, having 2,400 watts of solar going into that power station every day would be more than enough for our house. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and the reality is you're not going to get peak solar conditions right. every day, mm -hmm. but that gives a lot of leeway for our house. To be honest, 800 watts would be yeah. significant. Eight or 12, yeah. And the cool thing though, is if you're able to max solar input, you can recharge the station in 1.8 hours, which is- yeah, so quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's slightly more than the wall charging, which is an hour and a half. And both those numbers are from zero to 100. So that's pretty insane. Yeah. After scouring Anchor's website and the user manual, there's not a whole lot of information about the weatherproofing and temperatures that the F3800 can withstand. However, you can charge it between 32 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, so that's a significant range. Yeah, it sure is. But it also, you have to think about if you're gonna use this full time in your tiny house, you're going to have to build a spot for it inside the house for sure. And yeah. the batteries. Right, because below freezing is not a good idea. No, not for charging. It. Um, not for charging, but if it's not good for charging, it's not good for the battery health. Yeah, probably. So that is definitely a big thing to keep in mind. Mm -hmm.
I've been working on our shuttle bus for a while and out here in the garage, I've been running into a couple of problems. One is it's winter and the garage isn't insulated. And two, I only have one outlet, so it makes it hard to run power tools and a heater at the same time. That's where the F3800 comes in. I can run my heater and the tool at the same time. Because it has a 9,000 watt peak surge and a 6,000 watt output, I can run any of my power tools on it. That's definitely something you can't do with lower capacity power stations. One thing that I think is really cool is that when I'm done building the bus, I can roll the power station out, plug the bus directly into it, and have it run completely off the F3800. So with the F3800's 240 volt capability, it can power air conditioners like our mini split heat pump system. Other high capacity power stations can't do that. They can only do portable ACs with 120 volts. And because it has a robust 6,000 watt output, it can power multiple heavy duty appliances at the same time. So think a mini split in an electric stove or a washer and dryer. But the question is, how long can it run those appliances? To determine runtime, divide watt hours by watts. So if you max out the output to 6,000 watts, the F3800 can only run for just over half an hour. And that's because it has 3,840 watt hours. Fortunately, you can expand and expand and expand the watt hours of the F3800 all the way up to 27,000 watt hours. The best way to utilize the large capacity of the F3800 is to connect it to your home's electrical system. It's basically plugging your whole entire house into the power station. And if you plan on doing that, you're gonna need this. This is a transfer switch. So this is what connects your power station to the electrical panel in your house. Or you can use Anchor's home power panel, which is the best way to create a seamless backup power system. When a power outage happens, the home power panel will automatically switch to the F3800 as the power source. And the installation is pretty easy. You will need one electrician and installation usually takes about an hour. In an emergency, the F3800 could power your house for about a day, but if you got six expansion batteries, you could power your house for about a week. And then listen to this, this is crazy, because if you got another F3800 and six more batteries, so a, a total of 12 batteries, you could actually power your house for solid two weeks. That's almost 57 kilowatt hours. That is absolutely unreal. And I understand that that can get expensive, but it's something you could actually over time just add batteries to. So get one for Christmas. But no matter what you choose, you can easily connect it all to your Anchor home power panel, along with solar. The F3800 is incredibly flexible and powerful. And with daily use, it has at least a 10 year lifespan. And that's largely in part thanks to the EV class LifePo4 batteries, industrial grade components, which are very durable and smart temperature control to keep the batteries protected and healthy. I really appreciate that it comes with a five year warranty because to me, that means the brand really stands by the quality of the product. Oh, for sure. The F3800 is in that class of beefy power stations that can be used as home backup power or for an RV. In terms of output capability, the 12,000 watt F3800 whole house home power backup system is significantly more affordable than anything else on the market. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, that is running two of the F3800 stations in parallel. Yeah, but still running two of them and it's still being cheaper than a lot of other ones, that's amazing. That says a lot, yeah. yeah. So if you're interested in buying the Anchor Solex F3800, buy it now. It is at the best price it's been. And that's because of the Black Friday sale. Click the link in the description below to get amazing discounts from Anchor. What do you guys think? 
Let us know your thoughts on this new power station in the comments below. Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.